Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today we are talking about the SPS airdrop and how you can maximize your return and reward from that airdrop process by holding SPT tokens, the native payment that occurs on the splintertalk.io blogging website. If you don't know what that is, it's a blog that's anchored on the Hive blockchain where people who love Splinterlands blog, vlog, write, author, content create, anything to do with Splinterlands, the video game. And when they do so, we can reward each other by upvoting one another and you'll be paid in SPT. So the question at hand is, is owning SPT going to give you an, a disproportionate amount of SPS rewards from the airdrop? I want to figure that out. And we can look at whether land, cards, or SPT are going to reward you more for the SPS airdrop. We can look at that. Let's look at it together. If you want to understand my opinions on SPS, you need to probably just go watch a separate video. It's from a few weeks ago. If you search in my videos in just under SPS, you'll find it. Suffice to say, I think this token is meaningful and valuable, and I look forward to getting as much of it as I can. I think this game, Splinterlands, is going to succeed wildly, way beyond where it's currently located. And as a result, I want to have SPS tokens so that I can have a governance vote over that whole ecosystem. With that in mind, I'm exploring this topic of whether buying SPT tokens might give me meaningful SPS rewards. I think it will. Let's look at the numbers. These are all the different ways you can earn airdrop points. These are the airdrop points that give you a proportion of the daily SPS that's awarded. Collection power, DEC, providing liquidity on DEC pools, card packs, land plots, champion points, SPT tokens, and so on. I only want to look at collection power, land plots, and SPT tokens. First thing to understand is that buying cards or owning cards is going to give you airdrop points. Look, I get 1.5 million power, sorry, 1.5 million airdrop points for my power. Now, how much does that cost if you wanted to replicate this? It's going to cost roughly 100,000 US dollars to buy enough cards that you're going to have that kind of power. Mind you, big asterisk here. Power doesn't work like this. You can't go buy there's no card worth 1.5 million power. You'd have to buy a ton of cards and there are certain cards that have more power and others that have less. So that your price commitment may vary. But I own $100,000 worth of cards and they give me 1.5 million power. So let's just take that as an example and run with it. That means that uh, if I wanted to buy 1 million power worth of cards, I would have to spend Now, I need to spend 66,000 US dollars, roughly speaking, to achieve 1 million daily airdrop points for the SPS airdrop, okay? That's figure number one. How much How much uh, money do I need to spend on cards to get a million airdrop points? $66,000. Now, let's look at land. Remember, you can buy land plots. You can buy tracks of land or a region. But if you buy 100 land plots, you're going to get a million power. I have a hundred land plots. I have one tract, which is a hundred land plots. So you could buy a tract, you could buy a hundred land plots, but if you, the only place you can buy them is on Hive Engine. And if you go over and you look at the plot value, it's forty $427 per plot. So what is that? 427 times a hundred equals, is that, no, I did that. 427 per plot times 100 plots equals 42,700. So if we stop there, it's cheaper to buy, to get power by buying land than it is to by buying cards. That's point number one. But look at this. If we come out and we wanna, oh, I need to also explain, the airdrop points that are paid out when you're owning SPT tokens are, you get one, airdrop point per two SPT tokens that you own, okay? So yesterday I owned 98 SPT tokens 
and I got 49 points, okay? So you actually need to get 1 million power, uh, to get 1 million airdrop points through SPT tokens, you're gonna need to own 2 million air SPT tokens. Okay, what does 2 million SPT tokens cost? You come over to Hive Engine, no, Hive Engine, and you go to find SPT, it's currently trading at just over one penny. Yet, I think recently it was over, it was two cents or something like that. So this thing has a lot of possibility. But if you look at the daily volume, it's like $3,000 daily volume. This is a small cap coin. This, if this thing takes off, if Splinterlands takes off, this could be an exciting opportunity for massive appreciation. But having said that, and to be perfectly honest, I can see Splinterlands taking off, but perhaps Splinter Talk not taking off. They're not merged at the hip. One is the video game and the whole ecosystem around that, and the other is like a blog platform where we can talk about Splinter Talk, or Splinterlands. Yeah, that's cool, but maybe this token, you know, doesn't, who cares? Maybe no one cares about it. Maybe nobody wants this reward. Maybe, I doubt it. I, I think it will succeed, but you have to think about that. You have to keep that in the back of your mind because we're about to talk about buying 2 million SPT tokens. That's a lot of SPT tokens. Wouldn't it be crazy though? Look at the highest high over in July was, I don't even know, it was over 15 cents. Now we're at a penny. I don't know, man. I want to take a bite of that action because I love this game. I love this community. And I think everything around it is going to do well. I could be wrong. But as far as my money is concerned, as far as my investment philosophy goes, I look for things that have high value, low price. And this seems to be exactly that. It has high value because it's attached to the ecosystem of Splinterlands. It's pushed by Agrod himself, who's the main, like the, the co-founder. And, um, and so I just think that this has a real opportunity, especially as the community continues to grow, especially as you new people are looking for opportunities to learn more about the game you can learn here we're reading blog posts and you want to earn more ways you want to earn in different ways so that you can maximize your returns with splinterlands this is that so i think this is you know got an exciting future and i i want to take a bite of it but what would two million tokens cost you can see two million tokens at the current price of just over a penny is going to be $22,860. Actually, the price recently, somebody sold a different one. So let's go there. 2 million times 0 0.01171. That was the last price that sold. That's going to be $23,420. So just from a just from a cost-benefit analysis, if first of all, if you think SPS is meaningful and you want more of it, then owning assets in this game that are going to allow you to get that free airdrop are should be something you're always thinking about. And for me, I'm thinking about. And then of the three possibilities we look at here, land, cards, and SPT, it seems SPT is by far the cheapest way to get power, to get airdrop points uh, so that you can maximize your rewards from the airdrop. It's not even close. Over here at 66,000, that's buying 100, that's buying, that's what you'll have to do if you're going to buy cards. 66,000 US dollars. If you want to buy 100 plots of land, you're talking $42,000. And if you want to buy SPT tokens, it's going to be $23,000. Now, this, the, the summary, summary of this is if you want to get more SPS and you want to maximize your airdrop rewards, buying SPT looks like the way to go. But understand also that you have to have some faith in SPT in splintertalk.io. If you don't, this is a very risky purchase. If you could just go ahead and buy, you know, you could just buy SPS. SPS price is really low right now, 22 or 23 cents or whatever, 23.6 cents. So look, I get roughly, for my land ownership, I get roughly 200 SPS per day, every day for a full year.
I get roughly 200 SPS per day from owning a million power from my land tokens. But times 365, that's 73,000 SPS tokens that I'm going to get from owning one tract of land. But what if I just went out and bought 73,000 SPS? What's that cost? Right now, 23.6 cents, it's going to cost you 17 grand. So, I mean, look, if if it's just, if it's, if it, you want this, if you, all you care about is SPS, then just buy the SPS. But if you think there might be some value in perhaps owning monster cards or lands of plots of land or spt tokens understand that these numbers shown earlier like you can subtract from these values the cost of the sps right you could buy two million spt tokens and you're going to start getting sps rewards for it you're going to get roughly seventy thousand sps rewards over the course of the year and then that's worth uh, was it seventeen thousand dollars? So take that off of here, right? Minus seventeen thousand US dollars. You can pay six grand to get two million SP SPT tokens, or same thing with the cards or with the land. Take away seventeen grand because you're going to get SPS rewards. Now you're you're getting these. You you factor that in, and it's suddenly discounted. Same with the cards. Take away seventeen grand because you're going to get that SPS reward. There's more math here. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. This is very simplistic and it's not entirely accurate because if you went out and bought 70,000 SPS right now and began staking them, you would get rewards that would perhaps outweigh, it would counteract some of these, some of this gain. But suffice it to say, if you want to maximize the number of airdrop points you're getting because you want to get air, more SPS in the airdrop, right now the cheapest way to do it is buying SPT. But don't do it unless you think Splinter Talks is a valuable platform and I'm, and and you have some interest in owning a slice of this, this pie. I do. That's why I put 500 tokens in my wallet here. I got 500 Hive, 495. And we're going to go buy some SPT. I'm not going to buy it all right now because I don't know where this thing is going. It could shoot up. It could drop down. I don't know. And I'm going to get some because I want more SPS. And this is a very effective way to do that. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try and buy 26,000 SPT. This is a risky play. I'm not recommending you do this. I'm not promising that SPT is going to go up in value. I just think that the airdrop points are meaningful because I like the SPS rewards and I think splintertalk.io is a cool website that has an exciting earning potential for people who love Splinterlands and because the number of people who love Splinterlands is growing I think owning some SPT is not a bad idea. It's such a small cap coin. Wow, it could fly. So that's what I'm doing. What do you guys think? And I know the math isn't perfect. Don't give me a hard time about, you know, little stuff on the math. You guys keep leaving ridiculous comments about how you, you know, I didn't think of this thing or that thing. We don't want two hours with math. So I've considered the limitations of what I've done, what, what I've presented here, but I'm trying to make um, generally accurate, concise, argument about which assets might reward you most for ownership okay so if this is interesting make sure that you like and subscribe thank you very much for your time and attention i appreciate you guys god bless